<laughs> okay, but it's gonna read what she's saying. Twa C Debbie, are you back at school? Well, she would know if she actually fucking listened to you. Yeah. God. She said no. And she thinks... I'm sorry. I feel like... I'm sorry, but Megan goes through stages. La a couple months ago, she was so corporate. This this couple months, she's so casual. You know, like... How can you fuck someone in the ass with a sandpaper dildo and say, Hey, you know, how is school? How are you doing? She's like, what? I don't know. <laughs> oh, she knows that. She, wait, what? Oh, I'm actually doing projects. With, no, that was her being. She's being casual. Like she, she pretended she didn't hurt you. Like really? Yeah. That does. That yeah. I'm sorry. That makes no sense. <clears throat> she doesn't make sense. She's so casual. Like what the fuck? Like does she not know what she did? And she, she has. I mean, she knows. She she can't not know that that's ridiculous. She, she knew, but no, Megan knew. Megan knew what she was doing. Like she knew that she hurt me. She knew. Well, like I said, she knew what she was doing when she gave you those back scratches, didn't she? Yeah, I'm sorry. I was she had, then she had the to say, Oh I'm sorry, I wasn't looking for a relationship. Well people who do that Yeah, really. people who are not looking for relationships usually don't do shit. Well, yeah, and like I said, talk about a defense mechanism. Like my friend uh, Serena, the psych student, said she was like, well, graduate. She's like, you know, um, yeah, if she didn't like her at all, then she shouldn't have fucking let her on, you know? She shouldn't have let you on. Like, she shouldn't have touched you ever, you know? Like, not, yeah. even, not even that one hug, because that one hug could trigger you, right? You know? Yeah. God. Oh, so Serena thinks that Megan is stupid? Probably stupid as fuck, yeah. And she never she never talks down about people, but I think in this case, I mean, she's going to start. <laughs> because, like I said, she's so casual. Yeah. Like, are you kidding? Like, are you kidding me? How can you not... Like, I mean, well, no, she, know, she knows. Like, we're not dumb. She knows. Oh, yeah, Megan. Like, holy shit. So, yeah. Like I said, she's being so fucking casual. I don't understand. She's like, oh, how are you doing? And she's kissing, she's kissing your ass again. Did what you does know? that mean when she's kissing ass? I mean, look what, I mean, she did it before, remember? With, um, oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you know what the first message she sent you. Oh, Debbie, you're such an inspiration. Like, where, where oh. Oh, yeah, that? Yeah. That was disrespectful. It was, yeah, because she said... That was fucking... A solid 70%. Like, really? Jeez. No, that was... Yeah, and, and, and so I'm sorry if you were looking for more than a friendship. If she was sorry... Okay, you, you know what? If I bumped into you, I would say I'm sorry because you know what? I bumped into you. That That's shitty. Sorry, you know? Hopefully it won't happen again. If it does, um, it's still a mistake, right? You know, accidents happen, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. But to publicly scratch someone's back, cry that you want to commit suicide, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera um, and then say, oh, I'm sorry you felt that way like you're a five-year-old, and say, I'm sorry that you felt that way, uh, and then all this bull, it's like, girl, please. like you're not stupid. You you're getting your masters in BC for a reason, so you don't just sit in your ass and lead people on all day, like she does, no. obviously. No, no, no. Because you have better no, stuff to I do. Never. Yeah, I really. Never lead anybody on. Mm-hmm. So then you just denied everything. Yep. Denied everything. And was acting casual. Yeah, like she never hurt me. Yep, yeah, she. Oh my God, it's so stupid. It's, I'm sorry, but it's just so, it's so fucking dumb, like, you know, oh, how is school, like, how the fuck, like, how the fuck can you say that? Yeah, after everything that you did to me, after you played with my heart strings. Oh, and how is school? My dumb ass crying for you all summer long, and then some. How is school? Like, just, like, nothing happened, like, really? That's what I don't know, man, I just, I wish, I don't know, maybe I did miss out on a fucking... <laughs> Bullet. Or, she, I definitely got 
dodged a bullet. She was acting like a... A psychopath? Yeah. Well, yeah, like I said, how could she be so casual after she's turning you over? I mean, oh, yes, that too. Exhibit A. Uh, yeah, that was some bullshit. So what? Are you supposed to not have a personality like like her, ironically? And uh, just, um, you know, then you can hang out with her and her dumbass friend or whatever? Like, have threesomes? Like, God. That was, I'm sorry, that was the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my life. Like, really? She she saw she saw her but she didn't see you. Oh, it's okay, dude. I dodged a fucking bullet. But that was so yeah, but that was so bullshit though. Like really? Yeah. Really, you know. <clears throat> I mean, don't get me wrong. Megan is fucking. She's gorgeous. I know. That's what's annoying about this. I know, and and freaking jeez, oh, and then she like she we both fell in love with each other. That's what my therapist said. But for whatever reason, she couldn't tell me why she pulled that move. Well, she pulled your life support. She should have been honest. Yeah, I agree. Well, she she pulled your life support. She put you on it, and then she pulled the cord. Yeah. Which I don't understand, so. Like, she should have just been real. She should have just told me, I'm sorry. I, my parents are homophobic. I yeah. can't away. I can't handle yep. a long distance relationship. That would have hurt, but the pain would have been far, far less. Well, it would have been real, but it would have been good, you know, I'll get over it kind of pain. It wouldn't have been like, oh my god, like this fucking bitch or whatever, right? Like, like, yeah, like what the fuck is wrong with me? Exactly. Yeah, because then you, you hate yourself too because of this too. <laughs> Crazy for a while. Yep. Yeah, she was. I'm sorry, but that's that kind of like behavior that she pulled was abusive because I guess that she knows that you have, you know, emotional health issues. You know. Yeah. You know what? That's that's a beautiful part of you, but the not so beautiful part about having emotional health issues is that you know it's, it's very painful and people should be sensitive towards you. You know, you're like a fucking unicorn. You know. <laughs> They need the we need, unicorns go extinct if they're not well taken care of, right? So we we need to protect the unicorns, but she's not protecting the unicorn. Yeah, she knew that. I'm, yeah, she, she knew, knew that. Oh, I'm sorry. She knew that I'm a she knew you had a kind heart, so it's fucked yeah. up what she did, honestly. But she knew that I'm highly sensitive. Yeah. She didn't give a fuck. Which I don't understand why she didn't care, like. She's a she knows she, oh my gosh, this pisses me off of this. She knows. She knows that I struggle with depression. Yep. And she didn't fucking care. Yeah, exactly. I don't understand my at all. I, I, I'm no longer in love with her. I'm just now, I'm just pissed off. Yeah, really. No, because she, she, made, she made it seem like you're crazy. And you're not crazy at all. You're a normal human being. But she made you feel abnormal, you know? When oh, yeah. I know that having depression and having shitty moments, you know, several shitty moments actually recently for me, um, she enhanced it. It's it's not right, you know. She took a beautiful creature. She you're a butterfly, you know, and she crushed. She took off your wings, like a like a thirteen year old little boy in Toy Story, you know. She she chopped off your wings for no reason. Well, she better not do that to the students now or whatever, like gaslight them. Yeah. It wouldn't go down too well. The school board would say, what the fuck are you thinking? Scratching their back and shit and crying if they want to kill themselves? Like, really? The thing is, when I met her, when she was there for those five weeks, she was just... Yeah, she, she was, was She, she was acting normal, you know? Yeah. She, she wasn't acting weird when she was your professor. And then she fucking turned her back on you. Yeah. I'm sorry, that's fucking psychotic though. You must not feel safe though in your own skin sometimes. Yep. Because you provoke that kind of emotion. It's not your fault. It's like, it, she's the one that fucking gaslighted the whole fucking thing. So. God, she's crazy. 
She can't be trusted. And for her to see her friend, that's a fucking bitch move. I'm sorry. Nope. <clears throat> Honestly, if if you if if Megan saw you over the summer and not see Chelsea, I'm sure Chelsea would be like, you know what? She saw Debbie because Debbie has like more personality than the fucking planet. So that would make sense, right? So that's why I don't think she would have been mad. But like I'm just so confused that like why the fuck would you want to see Miss Boring threesome woman? Like really? Yeah, it was some bullshit. It's just, it's just not right. It's just unethical. She's not you. You can't you can't treat people poorly and then expect them to kiss your ass back. You know what I mean? Like yeah, and like pretend that everything is okay between us. I know that's what I mean with the whole she's so casual thing. Like really. Well, no, and you worded well. Did it show that she read the message, or she just didn't, you know, or she didn't do anything, like she always does for some reason? Yeah. Did she read it, at least? Nope. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. What a great moral person. Yeah. God. But I bet you if I was fucking Chelsea, she would be on it. I know, she's like, I'm not the best at responding. That's what Julia said, too. She's like, oh, I know you've been texting. Fuck off. If you don't want to be friends, that's fine. You know, just let me know. You know, low-key, high-key. Even when she said, please, always write to me a million times. I'm not the best at responding, but I promise that I always will. Oh, yeah, not the best at responding. How did you respond to Chelsea? Hey, want to hang out this summer? Sure, I'm only a million miles away. Do you still want to hang out? Sure. Like, really? I just deserve a woman that's smart. You know, the only thing that's good for her right now is that she thinks French and she's good looking. That is it. Her morals. Yeah, her morals are very shaky because, yeah. Oh, I'm not thinking of responding. It's like, well, you responded well to Chelsea. Obviously. Yeah. I, I agree because honestly, they promised us to be friends with us for life or whatever, you know? And we were nice to everyone there too. It's not like we were dicks to anyone. We were always respectful. <clears throat> so they had no reason to fucking ditch us. Everyone ditched. I'm sorry, but I feel like MG did too. I still talk to her every once in a while. I don't know. She doesn't respond to me, I guess. I guess. I don't know. God, whatever. But hey, what's up with you? How, what happened? On Friday, I think it was. Um, I'm 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 okay. I know what I'm supposed to do now. Um, I had a I had a panic attack and like vomiting and shit or whatever at work. Of course, I didn't let the kids let me see that happening because their safety is my number one priority. It's because um, that creepy Garrett dude. You know, like we joked about it and we laugh. You know, oh my god, he's such a meme, and you know, blah 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 blah. But honestly, like, the joke's over now, and um, I'm getting sick of him, and I am telling my boss tomorrow that I cannot work with him. Do not put him on my shift. But I have to make sure I do it tastefully and not be tacky about it, you know? Like, I have to make sure that I get all the facts right and stuff like that. So, yeah. you know, and also, yeah, try not to make it sound petty, even though mm, maybe there's an ounce of pettiness in there, but it's... Honestly, it really is a safety, health and safety concern. It's it's not just um, it's not just personal, and I need to let her know that, and, and I will. So, <clears throat> because um, you cannot you cannot just not read the comms book. You need to know how the youth are doing at all times. You know, like it's a job for crying out loud. Yeah, you know? they're taking care of 
Young kids, anyway. At risk? Kids. Yeah. You can't just get water every hour and a half, not talk to any of the youth that they're up and having low self-esteem. You have to do bed checks, and you have to do some chores. And you have to say hello to your ship partners. Hello. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's about it. So I'm letting the boss know, and... Um, if no changes happen, I mean, I just keep calling sick until she takes a hint. I already called in sick last night. My best friend, Serena, told me to, my coworker. She said, you know what? I'll let them know you're sick at 8 p.m. so they have to scramble. And hopefully the boss will have to go in for a night shift and she can see it herself. Yeah. He's not a staff there at Snow Avenue. He's a staff, a very shitty relief staff. He is not staff at Snow Avenue. He does not work at Snow Avenue where I work at. He does not. We do not owe him anything. He refused to do any chores last shift because he was sick. Guess what? My mother fell and she was in the hospital. And I didn't know what the outcome for that was. So fuck off saying that, oh, you're sick. And she's fine, by the way. Um, but I didn't know that at the time. And I felt like shit, too. So not only did I call him sick last night because I was sick, but I was just sick of him. <laughs> God. And yeah, changes will happen. When I saw him booked this weekend... For both the night shifts, I was like, no. I'm talking to the boss. This has gone on for too long. Oh, yeah. You can fuck with me. If he, if he punched me in my face, I still wouldn't report him, you know? But yeah. you mess with the kids and you treat them like shit, then we have a problem. So I'm very protective of them. I know they can be little assholes sometimes, but you know what? My job is to work there. Their jobs will be little shit. You know what? T tit for tat, right? If yeah. they were little shits... We wouldn't have jobs there. So you know what? If he doesn't want to deal with the kids, and if he doesn't want to fucking talk or whatever and communicate like a normal human being, then he shouldn't be there. He needs to go find another job, hopefully that pays less, take care of his four kids, and move on, you know? Oh, shit, he's a father? He's 52, a father of four. And people assume that they're two older, his two older kids, they're in their 20s, can take care of themselves. Um, we are millennials, we know it of all people, that sometimes you need that extra help. And based on his work ethic now, I'm sure his older kids are still, they still need help. Which, which is fine, you know? Like, again, I don't know the situation. Maybe his kids are more successful than him, probably. But you know what? We can't assume, right? We can only assume, we can only assume the worst of the situation. And I mean that positively for his other kids. I don't attack people's children, so... Um, I'm sure his kids do the best that they can, but with their father's work ethic, like, I don't know if they're well taken care of. I'm talking about all four of them, too, like. Sure. But the two younger ones, I think we can agree. Take care of those kids. It's disturbing. A father of two young children, 52 years old, doesn't have a full or part-time job the last decade or two for, you know long term, right? Like, he, he couldn't keep anything down, has no education, has to go to manpower and, like, work agencies, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, it's not our fucking fault. We don't owe you, we don't owe you anything. You earn everything in life. Yeah. yeah. You should know that by now. He's 52 years old, acts like a two-year-old, doesn't say hi, and he doesn't give a fuck. And when he does actually do chores, it's, it's half-ass. Like I said, it was funny before when we joked about him. It's not funny anymore. The joke's over, so... It's time to move on to another punchline, you know? Because I feel like this is a dead horse, you know? It was funny. Always such a meme. I hope he gets hired there, you know? He'll be such a meme. But you know what? It's really not funny, actually, because um, we deal with at-risk youth. And if he doesn't like dealing with them, then you know what? Like, it's, the wrong, it's not the job for you. It's not just, you know... When someone's a relief worker, you're not just a body. You actually are there to work as well. So I know it's a new concept for him, but it's a, it's a job. So you got to do your job. I don't yeah, even... I don't, it was a very minor one. It, it just included vomiting. For me, how it works is stage one, panic attack, headache, stage two, throwing up, stage three, hearts. It was uh, stage one. It was, it was fine, but... And I was sh I was like shaking and stuff like that. So I talked to Serena and she said, you know, don't call Connie the weekend, you know, collect your thoughts. She said, even though you have them all collected, make it appear you collect your thoughts. Wink, wink, right? And make it appear that you took a lot of time to think about this. 
But she said, I already know you know what to say. So, But she just said, take a break, you know. And she just said, try not to make it personal when you do, when you state your case, you know. Try to take, what? How old is Serena? She's 35. Oh. Yeah, but she gives really good advice. I know, you should marry Serena. Blonde hair, blue eyes, though. Does she have Facebook? Yep. Is she friends with you? Yep, yeah, Serena Rose is her name. You look her up. S E R D N A Rose? Yep. Better Don't than. Tell her that I'm doing this, please. She's hotter than Megan. S E R E N A R. Oh, S E R I N A Rose. Oh, okay, so S-E-R-I-N-A. Yep. Shouldn't give you back scratches. <laughs> okay, she's friends with you? Yes. Okay, I'd have to defend. Unless she defended me, which I highly doubt because um, she said she really wanted uh, me there. And that um, the Hicks are trying to make him quit. The, that family, they're trying to make, they're both trying to make him quit. The wife, his wife was being, um, doing bully tactics on me, um, a couple of weeks ago, and I don't oh, appreciate that either. Oh, Are you serious? What? Yes. Oh, hell no. That bitch. Um, however, Chrissy actually does her half, and she is qualified, and she's, um, ten times more tolerable than her husband. But she needs to stop switching shifts. That's against, that's unethical and against company policy, and I will bring that up to Connie tomorrow as well. So. Sorry, Serena is Cynthia Rose? Yes. Wait, she's 34? 35. She looks so young. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 32. Don't pull the age card. She's not that much older at all. And she looks. years! She looks younger though! She does. She doesn't look 35. <sighs> She isn't she a type of girl? Yeah, she is. She's my type. <laughs> <laughs> but she's probably not gay though. Oh no, not this again. Yeah, but you can turn you can turn a nun to be a lesbian too. Uh, okay, what about the other one? You told me about her. Christina was it? Oh Chrissy oh you wouldn't like her, but you can look her up. Uh Chrissy Hicks. You can see her ugly ass husband in the photos too. That's C H R I S S Y. C H R I S S Y. Yep, Hicks. She you won't be attracted to her at all. Like she's just no. She's she can be a good person, but she was being a bitch a couple weeks ago. That's fine though. You know what? I tore her off too, so it's all good. I got my revenge, so I'm happy. <laughs> but yeah, make me anger in comments. I think she forgets that we're millennials and um, I'm poor as fuck. So you either respect her or you don't. That's all I gotta say about it. I don't give a fuck what people think. So. At the same time, don't tell lies and don't be ignorant. Yeah, Chrissy's not that cute. <laughs> no. And she's 39, so yeah, she's actually a lot older, so. And also, did you see her ugly ass husband? That's the one I'm going to report, so. Oh, Chrissy Hicks? No, her husband, Garrick. The um, bald fucker beside her? That's who I'm reporting. Because, like, yeah, he took stuff too far. Like you said, it was funny talking shit about him, and now it's just, yeah. Now, yeah, it's too much. <clears throat> so there's only two women that you work with, Chrissy and Serena. Oh no, it's a it's a whole team. It's a we we're a team of twelve, and Chrissy Chrissy doesn't work there either because um some of the staff members said they'd kill themselves if she worked there full time. So yeah. Yes. Chrissy is a good person, but she just did bullying tactics uh, um, two weeks ago. But I'm, I'm over it because, honestly, it's her full-time job to be a cunt sometimes, so it's it's fine. The thing is, if you if you open up to somebody um, and you don't you can't 100% trust them, then it's your – it's the other person's fault to open up to them that much, right? Like it was I, – I disclosed her too much and – now I know that um, I can't because she's she gives me a cunt sometimes, so whatever. It's fine. That's what I mean, so it's all good. Um, you know what? 
Um, I'd rather live at home at 29 and move out a couple times than be 52 years old and live with their mother. So, because Garrett's wife takes care of all his needs and he treats him like a child because that's how he acts. So, yeah, like I said, I'd rather be loved and not a burden than be 52 years old and can't even take care of like your four kids. So, it's all yeah. good. But did I say that to her? No, because I'm the bigger and better person. So, it's all good. Like I said, I'm used to being bullied, but um, a bully with that much little prestige, it really didn't bother me. It made me laugh, actually. Because, yeah, what a fucking hypocrite and a bitch. So, it's all good. Yeah, she was being petty, that's for sure. Yep, yeah, she's being petty, so. And like I said, you don't, you know, you don't talk about my family, so that's my number one thing. And she, she went there, so. But, again, I'm not going to react to her because um, she's not my target right now, so. But I know that she's going to be bitchy about this, but you know what? Too fucking bad. I'm not talking about her in this when I tell my boss. I'm talking about her husband, so they're two different people. Out of all people, she should know that, so. You know what? He went to other houses, and he acted like a little shit, too. I'm just saying what no one else has the balls to say. It stops here. I love you. I know. Thank you. I love you, too. The, Dude, you're going to be my fucking maid of honor, I swear. The, the bullshit top shit. I'm pulling to you, Debbie, right now. Um, I got I learned this lesson from you, by the way, not taking anyone's bullshit. So I'm doing this for you. I'm reporting this guy because he's abusive to kids. I mean, he can't take care of it. I'm sorry he can't take care of his own. What kind of influence is that at a fucking... We, we take care of these guys. Yeah, it's your job, literally. Yeah, like... I know they're little fucking shit sometimes, and they run away and they do other stuff. But you know what? You know why they run away and they act like little shits? Because he's there. I I want to run away and I want to act like a little shit. I called him sick. I was acting like a little shit too because he's a, such a fucking dick. God. <laughs> I I get it. <laughs> I'm like, this is why they act like fucking dicks sometimes. Because yeah, the work, how's Crandall? Eh, it's it's boring. It was reading week, which is great. It's reading week right now? Yep. What? So it's it's boring. <clears throat> Even though I had school, boring. <clears throat> Not much to talk about at Crandall. Petty, boring. Nothing going on as usual. Uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I've been talking to Trina, but I would definitely take her on a I thought you'd want to go on about this, actually, the whole work thing going on, because, um, like I said, um, I was receiving microaggressions from Chrissy, and I know microaggressions for you is a trigger. Yeah. Because you've been microaggressed before, haven't you? Yeah, I did. If you said that, oh, no, microaggression, for example, if you say I'm a lesbian, people might give you dirty looks in the past, didn't they? Oh, yeah, of course. I fucking, I, I hate microaggressions. You know what? If you have a problem with me and my sexuality, fucking say it. Don't just give me a weird look. Say, what's on your mind, monkey butt? <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, yeah, no, I love you, but I don't think it's a lifestyle. Oh, I know. No, I know. Obviously, they don't love me. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. No, that's, I, I'm bothered by that. No, it's such bullshit. It's microaggressions. Oh, yeah. It's such bullshit. Oh, I don't agree with your life. So, well, you know what? I don't agree with yours, because all you do is talk about boobs all day, you know? Like, yeah, straight guys? Like... Help. Or they, or they talk about gay people like they're fucking aliens or whatever. It's like, oh, I think gay people, you know, they have a good fashion sense. They, 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 you know, they're good, they have a good sense of humor. It's just like, what? I'm like, we're not fucking aliens. Like, yeah, gee. no, I know. Yeah, the whole gay best friend thing, that's bullshit. I hate the gay best friend thing or whatever. Like that one time, whatever, that bitch that got fired, which is ironic, you know. Um, you know, I was just talking like normally. I was doing my thing. Ooh, Chad, you know, I was doing my same thing. And she's like, are you gay? And I said, you know, I paused for like. 30 seconds because that what the fuck like, weird question I'm not saying are you gay are you bi or lesbian like anyway and I said yes and then she's like I knew it I knew it and she was like jumping up and down I was like oh my god that's so fucking stupid that's like that's a macro aggression right there yeah grow up this is why she got fired how judgmental oh she got fired yep because uh, she was being unprofessional she needed to take a belief out of Megan's book <laughs> yeah, she she got fired for being unprofessional. Honestly, I agree because although she, you know what, she's back on the relief list though. So, God. she's what? She's 
I was I swear to God, you know, my company has no standards because she's back in the relief list. So she works there again. Not at Snow, but in at the agency. Like really? After all the shit she pulled in there. I knew it. Like, wow. No, you did not know that because did I have a dick in my mouth when I talked to you? No, so. Like, my God, these people. I get it. Fucking psychotic. And again, she's a mother. Oh, geez. All these people oh, can't... Shit. 25. And all these people can't fucking hold down jobs, yet they're, they're fucking parents. Wow. It's frustrating. What an what a influence on the kids. This is why they're not progressing. I mean, people are like, I don't know why they're not changing. I don't know, like... Is it our approach? I'm like, no, because you don't have any fucking... You can't even take care of your own kids. How are you supposed to take care of other kids? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I don't even have kids. Serena? Serena's nice? She's very nice. Fuck. I would, uh... I'm... If I saw her, I'd probably fall for her. And she has an iPhone as well. Keep that in mind. <laughs> I would fall for her, Sammy. And she has a cute little voice, you know? She sounds like this. So, yeah, you'd like her. Yes. <laughs> and she give you those back scratches. Oh yes, I think she'd like you. You think she'd have a crush on me? I think she'd have a crush on you. Yeah. Fucking serious? Yes. No joke. I think she'd give you a go. She only fooled around like a couple years ago, but nothing, nothing, you know, nothing too crazy. I'm not sure what you do, do though. I'm sure your sex demon would come out. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not fooled with anybody, so. Oh, yeah, but uh, you, girl, you know there's a sex demon living inside of you, though. There, there so is. Like, it's obvious, too. That's the best part. If that girl that was there from work, she'd say, I knew it! If she's, if she said, is there a sex scene every time you say yes, she'd be like, I knew it! You know, that's how, that's how she'd react, probably. Which is awkward. So you think Serena would give me a chance? I sure hope so, because, you know, blonde hair, blue eyes, and definitely your type. And she's working on her health and fitness too, and I know you like that. So yeah, she's she has a nice booty now. So. And she's a psych major. Yeah, so she she's actually smart too. She's not like a ooh. She's not like Megan, where she's like ooh all day. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, you could be a Serena. You could be Denny Rose. You, you would be you would be Denny Rose. She, I don't think she'll stay here forever. She wants to live in a small town someday, so. Tell her to move to, to British Columbia. Maybe she'd move to BC with you. Yeah. I think she'd definitely be up for the change. I mean, there's there's uh, residential homes at BC as well. Probably fancier, too, which is nice. <laughs> I'm sure she would be up for that. <laughs> I yeah. know. I, I would be, so. <laughs> I know, she looks so young, and in person, too, she, her skin's glowing, and I know you like glow-in-the-dark skin, so. Oh, my gosh. And pretty hair, too, and I know you have pretty hair, though, because you're the manly one, and she's the feminine one, so. <laughs> uh. Yeah, she's non-judgmental. She doesn't lead people on. She said, Megan's a prick, and she said in a cute voice, too, you know, like, she's on Team Debbie, so, already. Serena Rose. Serena Cynthia Rose. Yeah, I'd give her a chance. And she wouldn't gaslight you though. You know, she'd like she'd be honest with you for once. She'd give you so the she's like by curious? I don't I don't I don't I don't know, it's it's hard to say. Because like I said she, that was that was her like Previous, you know, in the past or whatever. 
You know, she could go. She could go back there, though. You know, you never know. Well, so she's interested in men, but. Yeah, but she hasn't met you yet, though. <laughs> you have a little secret, right? So. <laughs> I think you could you could turn a nun to be like a orgy loving lesbian. Well, she'd have to probably be gay only for me, though. Probably. I mean, I think that's happened before, not to me, but to like other people. Well, Before Lauren, you meet somebody, Lauren, they meet a woman. You probably almost yeah, turned Lauren. Yeah, maybe Lauren. Yeah. Yeah, Lauren. It, it's possible. Also, you can, if you gave Serena your iPhone X or whatever, after you're done with it, when you upgrade to the 12 next year, she'd probably date you for sure. <laughs> huh? <laughs> so she's actually the makeup? Uh, yeah, because she'd be honest. Like, if there was no chemistry there or whatever, she wouldn't give you long, lean your eye glances. She wouldn't scratch your back. She wouldn't cry as much. Because I know Megan was like on the ground crying freak the fuck out when you told her that you wanted to kill yourself. You know, like, but, you know, and then she just ignored you after, but no, Serena would, Serena would be more honest, so. Because I know you're done dating liars, so that's for sure. Yeah. Because we saw what happened. She, Do you remember the pain I was in? Yeah, she almost had to go to the hospital. I feel like this is why you live in Canada because you knew that someone's gonna fuck you over and you almost like killed yourself and stuff like that. And you might need their intensive care. So we can thank uh, Megan for that. So with the real Megan, please stand up. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, tell me, tell me everything. Tell me why. To be honest, I mean, I know maybe you're ashamed, but at least you could have told me the fucking truth. If she's ashamed, like I said, that's on her at that point. So she needs to grow up and get over herself, honestly. You know, like she needs to stop acting like a fucking two year old, so. Yeah, in the past. She didn't get too much into details, but I mean she kissed girls, you know, in the club all the time, so when she gets when she has a couple of drinks, so if you buy her a martini, and I know you're buyer one then, you know, you could have some magic. You know that song, One Kiss is all it takes, fall in love with me, that one. So yeah, I mean you would you would know it of all people though. You uh and like I said, I know you have a secret, so <laughs> no, if I saw her, I would definitely have a crush on her. I know she looks like a top model, doesn't she? Yeah. She has beautiful cheekbones, too. She looks better than Lauren. Lauren fuck Lauren. Yeah, she does. She's way better. She has piercing blue eyes, so they go through you like if, if you ever need to take a shit, just have a photo of her, and then like you, you just it'll fall right out. Nah, Lauren's a bitch, though. So. Lauren said, oh, a student never. Yeah. Like, she talked to you like you're a fucking piece of garbage. You're not a piece of garbage. You're a piece of gold. I'd, I'd eat, if you, if, if I saw you, I'd eat you because then it's shit gold for a, a week, right? So. <laughs> That's hilarious. And also, I'd, I'd, I'd take your teeth out and grind them up and I'd sniff them because your teeth are like crack. You know, they're addictive. You get the crack smile. <laughs> so instead of people treating you like shit and talking to you like shit, they should talk to you like you're royalty, honestly. Instead of being a fucking bitch the whole time, you know? Like, oh, you're a student. Never, ever, never. Like, Lauren acted like she's so above the idea. Bitch, please. She would think it's so hot to go with the student. Like, give me a fucking break. <laughs> Yeah, she denied it. And like I said, she was way too obvious about it. Like, if you say, 
you know, no, merci, no, merci, thank you, no, thank you. You know, that's one thing. But she was like, oh, she never again. Like, she, she was way too over the top, you know. Just like Megan was, too, with her, you know, Megan should have said, you know, no, thank you. And then just nod her head and back up like she always does. You know, then that, then, okay, like, she's not interested. You know, she's not being defensive. But, you know what, she had to be defensive, so. Do you really think Megan would would freaking hit on Mava though? No, <laughs> hell no. I, w I wouldn't hit on Mava. Like Mava was a I don't even know. Mava was a fucking weirdo. Oh yeah. She came all the way from France to teach at a shitty school. Like really. So you don't think Megan would ever do something like that? Hell no. Luke Tardif was in the wrong. He should have fucking grew a backbone. That was his job. <laughs> and you know that's true. No excuse. No excuses. Homophobia is not something to laugh at. You know, people fucking... This, the suicide rate triples every generation. I can't stress that enough. So, if he contributed to someone's suicide, then shame on him. And he should be charged for murder. If it happens, you know? So you, Megan, never, you, you don't think Megan ever hit on Fuck no. No one did, other than Austin. Well, not really, but yeah. <laughs> and Arno, Arno was... Oh, yeah. Arno, well, Arnon was, you know, like you said, he, he had the body, but, you know, that hairline, though, God, pissed me yeah, off. Like I know, it was like my dad's. And my dad's 63. That's pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> My dad looks better than he does, and he's 63. God. It's funny as fuck. That's really bad, huh? Oh, yeah. I'm getting out trying to be a 63 year old, like, really? Give me Megan scratch your back, though, like, what the fuck? Yeah, nice and slow. Oh my god, that's that's turning me on now. Holy shit! Oh yeah. <laughs> she knew what she was doing. Yeah, but then this bitch, she was just had the dancing to say, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry, if you're looking for more than a friendship." If she was sorry, then she wouldn't have done it. I don't get this. She was like, "Oh, I'm sorry if you if you were looking for more than a friendship." I'm like, "Oh yeah, but you were the one sorry." Oh my god, if she was sorry, she wouldn't have fucking done it. Jesus Christ, I'm sick of fake people like that. Holy shit. If she was sorry, she wouldn't have... Oh, I, I say it a million times until it, until it gets in her head. Like, oh my god, these people. I know, what the fuck? I have the superpower of always... <laughs> ...attracting women who are not... Uh, bitches. Like, I don't know, you always yeah. attract bitches for some reason. You're not a bitch, though, but you attract bitches. Yeah, really. This is the second time. First it was Lauren and then it was fucking Megan. Like, I don't want to date somebody who's not sure. Well, except for, I don't know, Serena. I'd give Serena a chance, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would probably make an example for her. But. I know, she'd give you those back stretches, too, you know? No, and granted, I'd, I'd, have, to, I'd have to meet her first, but, you know, she, you live on the other side of Canada. I know. Yeah, but you know what? So did Megan, and guess what? Megan visited Chelsea. That made no fucking sense. Yeah. Like, really? And like you said, those back scratches, she's like, oh, I'm sorry you felt that way, yet she was like, she was doing she was doing this, she's like, mm. <laughs> Yeah. I can't keep attracting women who are... Bitches. I don't... Okay, other than a bitch, what can you call them? Cunts? We'll call them Debsters. Yeah, let's call them They're your, they're your fanboys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Uh, I, I mean, I'm not stupid. I saw the way they both looked at me. Even I know. Though, I mean, I didn't see Lauren as much as I did last year because she was my crop. But even last spring, right? Oh, was she... 
Lauren can stop pulling that card though. Like I'm I'm sick of Lauren pulling that card. Like she's so fake. You know, like, oh never. Never with this dude. It's like but, like fuck off. Yeah. No, Lauren has her own issue. I wouldn't I would never deal with Lauren, honestly. Yeah, really. I, in my opinion, you're the one rejecting her, which is good. Yeah. See, Lauren thought she had the power, but guess what? Guess who has the power? You do. Yeah, because she she is like, oh, never would I sleep with this suit. This, well, guess what? Bitches never sleep with you. No. Really? I mean, okay, honestly, there's this thing, okay, where there will be people who will fuck other people, but they will never bring, bring them home to their mothers. <laughs> yes. That's the kind of woman Lauren is. Yes. But just, okay, since so she's super hot and she just sucks me on the scene out, she just. Nah, yeah, you're better though. Just, just gorgeous, drop dead gorgeous. Yeah, but Ser that's Serena you're talking about right now. Yeah, but but she also has a shitty personality. She's fucking snobby. She thinks so, she thinks she. I don't know. She just thinks that the world revolves around her. That's not how it works. Yeah, the world doesn't revolve around Lauren. Trust me. At all. So some people fuck her, but we've never been up to her mouth. <laughs> I, mean, I love I love your analogies. You know, she's not that kind of. No, she's how? Not the person that you would, she's not the kind of woman that you would, bring her, you would bring her home to meet your mother. No, fuck no. My mom would kill me. And she'd kill her. Because <laughs> oh, yeah, she's snobby as fuck. Exactly. Like, she looks down on people. Yep, for no reason. Yep. She thinks she's so much better, yeah. It's like, bitch, if you're so much better, then you'd fucking be married with kids now, so fuck you. Yeah. God. <laughs> I mean, yes, she has the brains, and yes, she has the, the brains, <laughs> but... I mean, barely has the brains. She looks like some fucking German swimmer in crack, you know? Like, who? Uh, Lauren. Yeah. God, she doesn't even have the brains. She's fucking fake. I mean, if Megan was smart, for example, she wouldn't have fucking scratched her back. Nope. And, and maybe get a boner, and then she, like, maybe have blue balls after. Like, really? Yeah. Mm. Like, who does... She knew what she was doing. Yeah. Yep. Well, no, she's pulling with your dick string. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> I mean, she laid on my fucking table. <laughs> oh, yeah, that too, yes. I know, that was That's crazy. Funny, right fucking, right for like I said, I don't even have exes that do... I, I had exes that do it like once or twice around, but my relationships never lasted that long, but still. Yeah, no, she was openly flirting with me in her fucking classroom. And the back scratches, too, like, really? Yeah, like in front of people. And yeah, in front of people. She wouldn't do that to anybody else, though. She was, like, pat them on the back or whatever, but that was it. Yep. I watched her. I fucking watched Megan. And then remember when we had a bonfire at the beach? Yes. Megan came. And we, like, looked at each other for a solid... Like six seconds or something. And she kept fucking staring at you like some stalker bitch. Yeah. <sighs> no, but I would definitely give Serena a chance, but I just don't know how that would ever grow into fruition because she lives literally on the other side of Canada. You literally live on the other side of Canada. Yeah, but that didn't stop uh, Megan from seeing Chelsea, though. Remember that bullshit? Yeah. That really threw me off, honestly. I, I almost cried for you. I'm like, I was like, wow. So, apparently, she, you're not good enough to, for her to see you and travel across the fucking universe. But Chelsea is like, really? Yeah, Chelsea, I'm sorry, but, like, my French wasn't perfect, but Chelsea would, Chelsea should have been in his class 100%. Like, really, she was, like, an absolute beginner. Like, beyond... Like, shit, she didn't even know how to say hi, how are you, fucking French. No, are you serious? Yes, or in English, like. Like, she literally, like, didn't fucking talk. Although she gave me a $10 card for shit at me, I like her, but still. God, she didn't know how to fucking talk, so. God, she, she, she definitely should have been Nancy's class over me, like, shit. I just wanted to go because uh, Nancy's a better teacher, that's all. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, John Daniel, he was there to fucking hit on girls. That's all he was there for, sorry, but 
Do you sit in our grills? Yep. The whole fucking time. Nope, the whole fucking time, so. And getting dr- woman. He was getting drunk all the time. Well, yes, but you know what I mean. He he was, no, he was a little skeezer. God. Hey, Benji, probably, he's probably fucked a student, but. Oh, yeah, probably. Lucky them. I still find him attractive, but you know what? I'm so over, I'm beyond over him. <clears throat> because even the second time I went, he's like, oh, you're back, but he still wasn't that excited. I was like, bitch, be excited. Oh. Like, hello, I'm back. You know, no one was fucking excited though. You didn't even you didn't even know me and you were excited to see me. Like you just yeah, met me. Like what you guys, what you guys yeah, exactly. I didn't even know who the fuck you were at the time. And you were more excited to see me than fucking people that knew me for like for over four years. Like really? You know, they they act so fucking bored, they're like, hi. Oh, it's like Yeah, but uh, yeah, but you know, you know how it is when someone is fake, though. So yeah, I think you get me, though. Yes, she was like, holy shit, fake as fuck. Which I Yeah, pop her ass is the operative word. <laughs> like, seriously, though, she started something she couldn't finish. Yeah, really. Like, she can commit six years to university. I mean, she has two degrees, but she can't even finish a relationship, like, really, without, like, being a fucktard about it? Like, yeah. that's what I don't understand. Oh, I know, yes. That's what I didn't understand. Like, why the fuck would you cry if you didn't care? And a teacher should have empathy towards her students and be respectful. Her tears should have meant something, you know? Like, yeah. Maybe they were fake, but I mean, I know that she cried a fucking river. You almost swam in the class. <laughs> God. Because she was crying up a fucking storm, so. And she can't deny that she wasn't. She definitely was. I mean, unlike. Well, yeah, she gaslighted you, and she was crying when you wanted to kill yourself, so. Yeah. You know, like, like I said, Megan's stories don't add up, like, and for her to say to someone older than her senior, like, oh, I'm sorry you felt that way, it's like, bitch, please, like, it's just so inappropriate how she was fake apologizing to you, like, a grown woman, like, you, you, you caught on to her bullshit, like, you, you're not stupid. Yeah. You oh, knew, yeah. she knew what, you knew what you were doing, and she knew, she as fuck knew what she was doing, so. She only apologized because she got caught, and even her apology wasn't sincere. No, not at all, because she's like, I'm sure you felt that way. Hopefully you won't tell your friends no. about it. You know, like, I hope, no, I hope I'm it don't look. I'm looking for more than just a friendship, but I'm also looking for a relationship. You know, hopefully your friends don't know I'm a piece of shit, you know, like, I'd hate for that to happen. <laughs> My God. Because she. She she didn't think we'd talk about it, that's why. I bet you that's the reason. She's like, oh, like, Debbie would just take my bullshit and bend over. It's like, no, you never bend over unless you get paid, so. Uh, hello? hello? Oh, sorry. Would you repeat that last part? I didn't yeah, um, she probably said you're just going to bend over and take it. Like, she didn't think we were going to talk about it, but yes, we will. So... She she really thought that she could just steamroll you and like you'd not you wouldn't say anything, but I know I know you who you are, and you're not gonna take anyone's bullshit and you're not gonna be bullied because that's exactly what happened. She tried to bully me. Yeah, she did. She tried to. She thought, oh, Debbie's so cute and sweet, which you are, and she's not gonna you know she's not gonna say anything. What? Like, yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want this. Just. I wouldn't ignore it. God. That's why you should be a program manager at my workplace, because honestly, you would address everything with the most respect for everyone, you know? Yeah. Sorry, can you read that last bit? The whole thing, what'd you say? You should be a program manager at my workplace, because you would address people respectfully and honestly and professionally, too. 
but not too professional where you know it's making territory. You'd be professional enough, you know, like because there's there's a fine line as we know, right? Being too professional. Hashtag Megan, you know. My 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 kid is doing great. It's like oh my god, now she's too casual though. Fine. Well, she's being so casual. Yeah, and the work was gone. Yep. Yeah. What? The, the romance, the romance, the romantic ones were the please always your a million times. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. I don't know. That To me, that was like too ass kissy, though. <laughs> Yeah, that was. I'm sorry, that was way too ass kissy. I don't know, there was some romance, though. Maybe that's what your therapist said, which, I mean, I wouldn't. Personally, I wouldn't say that, but I'm not a therapist, so I wouldn't know, but yeah, I don't know. You don't think it was romantic? Not at all, no. That was. Uh, ass kissing is not romantic at all. No, it's just, there was something about it. It was too ass kissy, though. You don't let people kiss your ass. You want someone to be honest with you. You're the last person that wants someone kissing your ass. I know. I know. I know about you. Yeah. Okay, Debbie. Imagine if I talked to you like this all the time. Oh, Debbie, you're so fabulous. I love how you talk, Ooh, child. Like you know, the whole time. Like, wouldn't that be fucking annoying? Yes. Because she was like, you know, oh, you got a solid 70 whatever percent. And I was like, really? And that was shady too when she said that, sorry. Like, she was, so she was basically testing my intelligence. Yes, yeah, she was. Again. Uh, it, it started out, well, she, well, it started out there. And then she, you know, the, I'm sorry, you felt the way. Bullshit. It's like, really? Like I said, if you're sorry, then you're, you're genuine about it, you know? <clears throat> so she was just my intelligence. Yes. And I hate to say it because, you know, it's awfully rude of her, so. Oh, Jesus. She's so fucked. She's, she's fucked, honestly. I got to fucking pull it. Honestly, it's just fucked. Like I said, she can't live her life this way. Like, it's bullshit. She can't be rude to people forever. There's, there's a limit to how how long something can be rude for. And she's pushing the limit, for sure. Yeah. Push it, push it to the limit, limit, because we're in it, in it. Yeah, she's taking stuff too far, honestly. Yeah. Well, she was definitely the first person who broke my heart. God, it's just awful, you know? I know, because you probably thought, oh, when school starts, I'll be fine, and, you know, it's all good. Yeah. And then That's school started, you, no. and then school started, and you're like, oh, shit, I still feel like shit all the time. Like, yeah, I'm still crying, yeah, yeah. That's horrible. Well, I, it's, yeah, it's been a few days, but, oh, bad. Oh, it's been a few days. Yeah, a few days ago was the last time. Oh, my God, that's an improvement, though. But then she's so psychotic, though, so you're probably at the paranoia. I don't know, like, I can never trust anybody again. Like, how do I know this woman's going to hurt me? Well, your therapist, but I'm sorry, but your therapist, you might have to get one that's, has a different, you might have to get a second opinion just because, like I said, I saw no lovey-dovey, like, in those messages. Like I said, ass-kissing is not genuine. And I know you fucking hate liars, you know? I know you'd rather have someone punch you in your face and tell you that you're beautiful and then talk shit behind your back, so. God. Yeah, then am I gonna have the gassy ass me how was doing? I know, like she did nothing wrong. Like like I said, she fucked you with this with a sandpaper dildo. Yeah, no, she doesn't even have the right to ask me that question. Yeah, I agree. She does not have the right. Yeah, she doesn't have the right to ask me that Message me as, you know, so, you know, as if life just discontinued. You can just drop it off and I'll give you like your phone. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. so I got it. Just drop it off and then I'm talking to Debbie.
Just drop off cut. The paper yeah. first, yeah, and then. I can correct them though. Oh, if you want to. But I have to have seconds. Well, move the, just move the laptop then. What do they do? Not for a little while, so you can go to bed what now. What do tomorrow? You can just go to bed now. No, they're not. Neither one of them are due tomorrow? Nope. Okay, so I can just do them another day. Yep, so just go to sleep now. You going to bed soon? I'm um, talking to Debbie, so. No, I'm just asking. Going to, no, talking to Debbie, so. All right, good night. Priority. Unlike, unlike Megan, I have priorities. <laughs> oh, Lordy. So you're sleeping in tomorrow, or are you getting up early? I don't know, priorities, though, so. Okay. I'm going to that to 10 now. Mom, you're being so casual. Good night. Good night. Casual. Casual, that's it. Just don't throw those papers out. Okay, don't be casual time. though. It's been a long time on them. That sounds casual. All right. Good night, kitty. <laughs> oh, he's so funny. He's sleeping. My God, mom, what the fuck out. God, so casual. How I don't know how Megan can can you live your life and pretending that she did nothing wrong though, like yeah. Really. Um, I don't know how she couldn't sleep that night. Probably no, like a baby. Probably with a horse head in her bed and like a baby, you know. Somehow. I cried for her, Sammy. I don't know, every single night, pretty much. Yeah. I don't know how she can be so cold about the situation, too. That's what freaks me out. <clears throat> I thought she had a heart when I met her, but she mm. doesn't. Maybe but she had. So maybe we thought she had a heart, but. That personality, though, I knew she didn't have a personality, that's for sure. <laughs> God. She pissed me off. Although, Ansley, I'm not going to lie, she didn't have the right to say what she did, though. She's like, oh, how can you like Megan? She's so dull. It's like, how can you fuck Grant? Yeah. I wish she had the dash to tell me about Megan didn't, that Megan didn't owe me an explanation. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, that's what pissed me off the most. Wait, what? No, I forgot. Oh, yeah, she was like, yeah, no, Megan doesn't owe you anything. Oh! <laughs> wow. Like, oh, so wow. Is it shambles? Wow. No, I, I must have forgot that shit. Holy shit. That's... <laughs> yeah. I want to defriend that bitch right now. Like, wow. How rude. You dedicate your time and effort and heart to this bitch. And even to Ansley being her friend. And this is how she repays you. Like, really? Yeah. You know, oh, me. Yes, she does. Because you don't scratch people's backs. You don't gaslight people. And then get away with it scot-free. That's not how the world works, so... Well, you know what? That's your fucking business. If you want to look into it, then that's your business. So, you know? God. These people yeah, are she so... She thought I was reading into her... Into her, her you're, well, you know what? It's a free country. If you don't, if you feel sick, then throw up. Right? Like, my yeah. God. You're allowed to do that. It's a free country. You're not going to be arrested by looking into this. Yeah. Pretty sure, so... No, that's bullshit. Yes, she does owe you an explanation. You know why? Because you say so. So there you go. That's all the. That's all you need to know. So, God. That's yeah, so, she screwed me over. That's so disrespectful. No, you 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 have the right to your opinion. So, Jesus Christ, the people, the ignorance is real. And she didn't even talk about the dance class stuff. I wanted her to go into details how she thought about the bullshit. That still haunts me to this day. I'm still tired because of it. <laughs> you know. Yeah. I don't understand people. That's stupid. Do. 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 That's so fucking stupid. Do 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 do. Oh, Lordy. <laughs>
fucking Christ. Oh, man. That was that was another problem. <laughs> like, wow. This stupid dude. My god, I can't. <laughs> I just oh, that, Is anyone recommending you need to Moncton? Are there jobs there? <laughs> Uh, we're not we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> Are there jobs there? That's we can talk about anything else in Moncton, but that's a joke. <laughs> that's that's a good question to ask for the first question and the only question. But <laughs> is there jobs so there? <laughs> if the answer is no to the only question that you should ask and is, are gonna ask. Because it's just not worth talking about after that question. <laughs> no. No. That was the best question ever, Debbie. I love that. Is your job there? Open up a company here? Because there's no, there's literally no jobs here. That's why that Garrett guy can't take his own fucking kids. I mean, although that's his fault, though. Oh, Lordy, unless you like call centers and fast food, which no one fucking does. So, yeah, I don't even count those as jobs. So, yeah, there's none, honestly. So, don't move Martin? No. Unless, you, unless you're like a housewife or um, you have your own business like Megan does, then no, definitely not. That, like I said, Debbie, that was the best question to ask. <laughs> like, wow. Uh, Is there jobs there? Nope. Not even in Brunswick in general? Not really. Again, you're just working for somebody else, so you're making them profit and you're making them, giving them the glory. So, example, if you worked at a fast food place or a retail job, they'd, you know, let's say you cured cancer, they'd say, oh, I'm glad I did that. You know what I mean? Like, they get all the glory in these jobs. It's ridiculous. But that's how many way jobs work, as we both know, you know, so that's such bullshit. So, just, just do you don't. Think would be down to, do you think Serena would be down to, uh, British Columbia? Yes, because she loves the Real Housewives of Vancouver. Wait, what? She loves the Real Housewives there, you know what I mean? Like the TV show. And oh. she likes how, you know, she likes the idea of going there. So, yeah, I think so. She'd entertain it for sure. I'd like to meet her someday. Uh, a bit sexy. You guys would be cute. Yeah, and she, she helped you out so much. She did. She gave you the most help, actually, I'd say. She gave you the most help, I'd say, too. Yeah. She was always team Debbie. Yeah, I mean, she called Megan her prank. <laughs> yeah, that was the best part. Well, and she called Megan a liar, too, which is good. So she's definitely team Debbie. And I'm sure uh, if I remember to tell Serena this, um, you know, oh, like, you're looking into too much bitch, please. It's like... Everyone has the right to their own fucking opinion, so I don't care what anyone says. You're looking into it because she scratched her back. Yeah. I'm looking into it too. <laughs> Gosh. How can, yeah. you, how can you not look into it if someone's giving you back scratches and shit? Like, really? God. She's stuck with my time, dude. And she got a big booty too, and I know you like big Beyonce booties. <laughs> <laughs> she's a good person. What? That she's a good person. Yes, a great person. She's the reason why I'm still working at Snow. Because honestly, it's so hard to work at a group home, but she makes it easy. She's a great, amazing person. One of the best I ever met, actually. And I, I always talk shit about people, so she must be good. <laughs> Is she single? Oh yeah, she's single. Tragically single. I don't know how to meet her because she was in the Brunswick. Well, all you have to do is call her Senorita. Do, 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 do you think we'd be compatible? Well, as long as you keep giving that crack smile, then yes. <laughs> as long as you um don't let those back scratches get your head, you know? Like, that was just sad. You deserve better. I think everyone deserves happiness in life. Unconditionally. But, uh, you think Serena and I would be compatible? 
I think so because she's educated and you're getting edu education too. Is she an intern? Is that right? Yeah. Extroverted. That's where it might be a danger. Oh, because I'm an extrovert too? Yes, although you say you're shy though, that made me laugh. <laughs> yeah, I'm shy. <laughs> Oh, girl, please. I, I mean, I didn't see it, so. <laughs> Dude, I have all this pent up sexual energy that I'm not using. It's, it's very frustrating. I'm very sexually frustrated right now. So. I think it's that sex demon that's on the inside of you, that's why. Yeah. Oh, it's frustrating. Or maybe you're just, um, you're craving pizza, because, you know, when you get. All horned up. I think you usually want pizza, you know? Yeah. Remember, like, sometimes you're not, sometimes you're not actually horny, you're just, um, hungry. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, you're definitely right about the sex demon. I think there's one live inside him. Remember when we did the dance atelier? The only good thing about it was you definitely had the moves. I was like, oh, shit. You were shaking your tush around everywhere. I was like, oh, shit. Uh, Ariane was definitely checking you out, though. Who? Ariane. You think Ariane was checking me out? Well, yeah, she didn't have a booty, so she was looking at yours. Ariane had, like, a no booty. She didn't have the word. I don't know she's actually 20. I mean, that's, a, that's what... I know. What's her face at? But I don't... Yeah, I, I wanted... Here's what I wanted from Ansley. I wanted less shit talking about you and Megan's uh, thing and more shit talking about the, the dance atelier, you know what I mean? Like, I wanted her to fucking go in for the kill. Like, because I, I wasn't the only one that had a bad time. Yeah. I know that for a fact. I just wish that MNG would talk to us, like, via FaceTime call. Like, I'd fucking kill for that, you know? I, wanted, I want her perspective and stuff. How much did you get to talk to Emma G the last night? Uh huh? How long did you get to talk to her during the English party? Oh, Emma was fucking wasted. Oh, so you didn't get to really talk to her then? No, because she was too busy chasing somebody's I don't know. <laughs> like, she became... Remember there's those, like, after the drinks, she becomes a slut. That's what she said, remember? Oh my god, that's funny though. Yeah, probably some. After a certain amount of drinks, she becomes a slut. Probably some brown. She's probably trying to go over some. Yeah, she drank way past the limit. Oh Jesus. Yeah. I'm glad that you never slept with anyone in a way, just because you are quite innocent. You have the sexy man, but you still have the innocence, though. You know. But it's a lot that I did. That I didn't have sex with anybody. Yeah, that's actually a good thing because you know don't don't give up your virginity unless they're the one. You know what I mean? If you have it, then keep it until someone deserves that shit. You know? Because one of my friends, he had sex with some like hole online or whatever, and then she cheated on him like a week later. So it's like he gave away his virginity for nothing, and that's not cool. Like you can't ask for that shit back. Like once you give it away, you give it away. Why buy the cow when you get the milk for free, right? So, right. So yeah, just don't randomly give it away. Because once you do, you can't take it back, you know. So. Yeah, I remember I was like, like I remember the first day I was like, yeah, I hope I lose my virginity. Oh, at Saint Anne. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, what was her face? I don't even remember her name. Uh, what's her name? The one from British Columbia, the one that you don't like. She was in the original A and then she ditched. Oh, Nikki? Yeah, Nikki was like, somebody did this one. With what, me. do you like her then? Like, as a friend? I sure. Uh, I sure fucking hope not. I'm not doing other dislikes, sir. You can't send no. me mail for that. No, but, uh, she, she was like, And not only shit, she has a lot of skin tag. Like, like I didn't even know what that was. Like, moles and shit? I'm like, really? Yeah, she, I just, she just didn't want anything to do with me for some reason. She didn't want anything to do with us, I mean, including 
Well, I'm sure she's written Emma G in them or whatever, but, you know, and, and Grant M, but... God. It's ridiculous. I mean, okay. Alex was really, was super cool with, well, Grant, but, yeah. he, but he only tolerated Emma. He didn't want anything to do with me, for sure. He was, I don't even, I don't even know. Alex to me is unreadable. And also, I'm sorry, he has some major anger issues. Like, he scared me that night. Yeah, like, you can't blame us. We were freaking high. <laughs> well, literally, all of it, he probably didn't even know I was doing Snoop Dogg, but all I was doing is like, like that, like, who gives a fuck? Yeah. I wasn't screaming, I wasn't shouting, I wasn't crying. I was just, um, like, that's all I was doing. Like, get over it. But yeah, he freaked me the fuck out. I thought he was going to slap me. Oh, shit. I would have blocked his ass. I would have blocked his ass. Maybe, maybe I should have kept going with her. Maybe what I should have done is turn around, plug my ears, and go even louder. <laughs> yeah, you should have. Just, what was it so? If, if, I, if, I was, if I was, like, drunk or whatever, I definitely would have did it. Because when I'm drunk, I can do whatever the fuck I want and not feel bad about it. So, yeah, I should have just... Hey, you're, I was, you're like your own little... I know I didn't consume any of it though because it wasn't worth drinking with anybody, other than you and MIP. Like it was honestly like pointless to drink, you know. Like because it wasn't there was a, I had no like drink buddies. John was the only one to get my alcohol, and that's about it. <clears throat> because John was a good person. It sucked he got two Everties malls in like a day or whatever. It's like really. Oh, Jesus. Just like MC got one because she was crying because she lost her room key, so she had, so she spoke in English to try to get help, and they gave her an average as well. I was like, wow. Yeah. That's some bullshit. She's debutante. Uh, I feel like debutante uh, should get, like, some shields. Like, obviously not immunity, just, like, a shield, you know? Like, obviously, people that don't know how to speak the language, like, at all, they're going to fucking struggle. Like, have some sympathy, you know? Yeah, oh yeah. Like, Luke Turner said it himself, you know, in the car on the way home. I even said, oh, those kids should get every reason why. He's like, they're just children. It's like, well, why did you give certain people every reason why? God. Oh, no, no. Such a fucking fat-ass homophobic hypocrite, isn't he? Like, Jesus Christ. He looked like Dr. Robotnik, like Dr. Eggman from Sonic. But why would accuse Megan of that such a thing if that happened? Cause she's she's bored. People are bored at these French camps because there's nothing. You know, the last time there's nothing to do. The last two times there was too much to do. Although I didn't do anything the first time, but still, um, dude, honestly, we had a really shitty group. So they were probably bored. You know, they're so bored. Even freaking John Douglas said it was like it was a boring group. He said that. Yes, on my way out, I said. You know, I'm going to leave, and I said, I I don't like this group of people. I said, they're boring, and he's like, I agree. Yes, he said that? Yep. I'm, I'm, I'm his favorite student of all time. He told me that, like, the last two times I was there, so obviously I was his favorite this time, too, because there was no one else. Other than you and MFP, there was no one else cool there, so. <clears throat> like, holy shit. Yeah, he, he thought it was a shitty group, so. He, he tried to get me out of there as fast as he could, and I'm glad he did, because I was losing my fucking mind, so. Oh, he tried to get, he tried to help you? Yeah, and he did. He gave Luke Turdiff a paid day off to drive me to the airport um, that day. Wow. Oh, yeah, you didn't know that. Okay, now you know. Just like yeah. I forgot when you told me that Ansley, uh, then you business, bitch, please. Yeah, the, um, that Meg didn't owe me anything. She, she did, actually. If you say, hi, how are you? You know what the other person knows you? Good, how are you? Not, oh, you're look, you're looking into them too much. It's like, no, you're allowed to say, hi, how are you? You're allowed to, unless you're in fucking a terrorist country, which we're not, you're allowed to ask questions, you know, like simple questions that like, come on. And you're allowed to get an explanation. So, like I said, it's a free country. Yeah, I don't know why we're such a boring ass for Yep. We got the word most boring ass group or whatever. Oh, Jesus. And oh get God. remember what I said? This is the first time that people actually hung out with me, too. So you can only imagine what it was like the first few times when no one hung out with me. 
maybe they thought it's a fucking disease or whatever. Maybe it's that's the gay thing or whatever. Um, so yeah, you can imagine like the first time I went, I just sit in my room the whole time and no one wanted to hang out. That's why I just gave up or whatever. You know, like fuck. The first time was so boring, but that was my bad though. There was good people there for sure, and it was somewhat amusing. You know, it was kind of like the first time you went. You know, it was a good experience. Nothing bad happened. You made some friends at the time there. Fill in the blanks. Ben Higgins dialogue, you know, like et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, yeah, and then this, and then the third time for me, second time for you, it just was total garbage. Like wow. Yeah, last year was better. I'm sure it was. Although was Brady there last time? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, but he came in the spring. Or sorry, he came in the summer. I came in the spring. Oh, thank God. I know you didn't want to meet that fucker at that time anyway, so... But I mean, I don't know, that's so pathetic when he asked Lord if, if, if she still remembered him. <laughs> I bet you she didn't. <laughs> no, I don't remember him at all. Who are you? <laughs> I don't remember him either. He's just a fucking little twink nugget, so... With the nipple piercing. Oh, I was like, horrible. yeah. Fuck, who pierces their nipples? You can't go yourself straight with the nipple piercing. I don't care if you said the heartless lunge bitch. It doesn't matter. You guys make up with a girl all the time, so. If they're skinny, they're so guys, weird, so. He's a fucking weirdo. And I hate his glasses, and him with long hair look like a fucking joke. I'm glad he cut that hair. Jesus Christ. But dude, I swear, if somebody, like, fucking approaches me, I'm gonna straight up ask him, like, are you fucking gay? Are you comfortable <laughs> in sexuality? Seriously, <laughs> like, I'm not that I, I don't think I can. Serena, because she at least would be honest with me. Megan was never. No, she was never honest with her, honestly. She had an agenda. On her, on her agenda, it said, fuck with Debbie. <laughs> yeah, make, make Debbie fall for you and then fuck her over. And then scratch her back. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I know. This conversation the, hasn't been going the way I want to. Yeah, the Starbucks denial, like, really? Yeah, that should have, that should have, like, indicated that show was going to go down. Yeah, that's when you know. That's when you know, yeah. I, I just can't believe how much looked at if it's a uh, hypocrite, though, you know? Like, he said, oh, they're little kids, they shouldn't get every these malls, because those kids are speaking so much English, like, what the hell? So, kids can speak English. And Jack of Us can speak English. How come we can speak English? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah. Yeah, Jack of Us, you know how much English they fucking spoke the whole time. Like, really? Yeah. Blaster, master, jacuzzi, blah, 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 jacuzzi. Like, oh my god, fuck off. They're not even that good. Like, he looks fucking, he has, like, buggy eyes or whatever. Like, girl, bye. Their drummer is hot as fuck. I mean, he can do me, like, for every day of the week. But other than that, I mean, really? And they spoke so much English. I even said to Abby, remember? I was like, I hope last night doesn't happen. That pissed me off. And she's like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, Jack of us speaking English all fucking time. I'm like, really? Like, we're supposed to speak French all the time. You, you know, like, obviously a debutant, uh, can, you can only learn so much of another language in five weeks. And if you're an absolute beginner, like, I felt bad for Nancy Scott. It's like, shit. Like, they really didn't know anything. Nope. So how the... So how the fuck, like, you know. Although some of them, they knew quite a bit of French. Like Jen, the Asian girl, she knew a lot of um, French. And Sen, did, Sen and Jen. The Asian women, they knew a lot, though. And then Valerie, the Latina girl, she knew a lot of French as well. So they were kind of misplaced. <clears throat> but that happens, though. Yeah, Chelsea was in the wrong classroom, apparently. Oh, yeah, Chelsea was definitely in the wrong classroom. And Chelsea Beliveau, the, the girl with the big-ass forehead, um, she was also misplaced, too, because she should have been an intermediate duh, because holy shit did she know a bunch of, like, fucking French, like... Or maybe she talked over her ass. Like, for example, Austin, I thought he knew a lot of French, but honestly, when I heard him talking, he just, like, would repeat himself a lot and just talk out of his ass, so maybe Chelsea Beliveau was like that, too, with the big-ass forehead, so... Probably. Because a lot of people, they just, you know... 
if I talk to you like this, I, Ooh, that's, that's, you know, you probably think, oh, he's like advanced one, you know, it's like, no, they, some people just fucking mumble French verbs and nouns and then they think they're, they're like, you know, perfect them all. I mean, that's what Austin did. You you heard him. Yeah. Austin says that. Oh, did you know he says like, I see, I see, I see, I see. and he's, just, he's speaking Chinese. I think she could never tease mom because he spoke Chinese. <laughs> you were yeah. there, Debbie. Like, you know it of all people. Like, Austin was a fucking idiot. Yeah, he is. He was in your dorm, too. That's the worst part. Yep. He was either always drunk or high. <laughs> or both. Oh. Crossfaded. I mean, to be fair, I did smoke a lot of weed, too. So. <laughs> yeah. I didn't smoke enough last time, and I actually didn't drink enough last time. That's why I was. That's why we were miserable. <laughs> Yeah. And then fucking ask. I'm going to go to soon, so I'll FaceTime you again this week. Okay, well, stay fabulous, Debbie. Yeah, I love you. Love you too. Good night. Woo woo. That was so 